What's going on everybody, Zionic here, and in today's video we're going to be diving into some Master League practice for Go Battle League, as Go Battle League Master League is coming out on Monday, so there's going to be a league rotation currently, we are in Ultra League, but on Monday, February 24th, it's going to be rotating to the Master League. Now, I'm not sure about you guys, but I do not have a lot of um, options when it comes to Master League. I don't have a ton of dust. I have a very limited selection when it comes to my rating Pokemon and basically kind of one-offs of some of the great ones. So but what I do have that I think is going to be really strong is Dragonite, Metagross, and Melmetal. Now, I did have to invest some dust into Melmetal, and I've unlocked the second charge moves on all these guys because I think it's going to be very crucial when it comes to Go Battle League. So let me know down in the comments how you guys are doing when it comes to preparation for Master League. If you guys are fully ready to go, you have plenty of dust and you have plenty of great options. Or if you're kind of like me and you... You don't have a lot and you're just going to try to get by with a few limited Pokemon. Now with today's team we are running Dragonite with Dragon Breath, Dragon Claw, and Draco Meteor. With Metagross we are running Bullet Punch, Meteor Mash, and Earthquake. And with Melmetal we are running Thundershock, Rock Slide, and Superpower. Um, so shout out to all my patrons who helped me with these battles. Very great games. Let's go ahead and get right into these Master League battles. Alright so in this first battle we are up against Crusader. Um, so thank you for this battle. It was really awesome and we have a bad lead Dragonite into Tyranitar so what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap out into Melmetal. Melmetal is gonna be able to handle a lot of the meta um, and we see a Groudon which is a good counter um, against a Melmetal um, because it has Mudshot and Earthquake with Earthquake which is gonna be both super effective but we're gonna be able to actually get out of this fight alive because Melmetal is fantastic um, at spamming charge move which is gonna delay the timer on the switch clock so we're gonna go ahead and shield that Earthquake right there that would have one shot us um, we're gonna go ahead and go for another superpower to try to get some more damage out on the Groudon right here and then what we're gonna do is build up some more energy go for a rock slide right here um, to do some decent damage or get his shield, which we get his shield, which is great. And then now we're going to be able to switch into Dragonite. We're actually able to stall this fight out long enough to then come back in with Dragonite and absorb the Earthquake right here. Not going to do a lot of damage, but his Tyranitar is going to come back in. Now we are going to go for the Dragon Claw here. Dragon Claw is so clutch on a Dragonite right here, but it's not going to do a ton of damage to Tyranitar, but that's okay because he's going to use his energy to finish us off right here. The Stone Edge will be taking us out, but we still have Melmetal with loaded energy and we just cleared all our negative debuffs because he, we swapped him out. So he's loaded on energy and we can just start loading up on some more and now we're going to go for the superpower um, potentially get a shield or straight up take him out this is going to be doing a ton of damage to a tyranitar so we do take him out now i expect the groudon to come back in so what we're going to do is go for the rock slide right here hoping to potentially get a shield and not hurt ourselves and then we're going to go into metagross and start loading up on energy i fully expect him to get to a charge move right here so we're going to go ahead and shield again we cannot let Earthquake or Fire Blast hit us at all. So we're going to shield. And thankfully, there's a Metagross in the back. So we can go for Earthquake ourselves. Now our Metagross does have Bullet Punch um, as the fast move, which is going to be great at countering those Fairy-type Pokemon. On top of giving us great energy. So very good battle. And then we have Groudon coming in. Finish this off cleanly. All right, in this next battle, we are up against Pokemon Lola. Um, so shout out to her. Thank you for the battle. We have Dragonite versus Dragonite Mirror on the lead. You guys are going to see this a lot. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to be sneaky and bail on the charge move hoping she was going for a Dragon Claw, but she doesn't. She decides to save her energy, and now we're going to see a Metagross come in and she swapped on our charge move. So great swap by her. Wasted energy on us. We could have gone for that superpower, but what we need to do now is build up to basically two superpowers um, because we don't want to get hit with a move in between. Now she's loading up on energy as well. I'm not sure if she's potentially lagging a little bit. I think we were having some issues here with lag um, so she might have lost out on a few fast moves there but that's okay we're gonna go ahead and shield we have tons of loaded energy on um, the Melmetal here and we do not want to get hit with that earthquake so we're gonna go ahead and go for superpower again this is gonna be doing some nice neutral damage to a Metagross um, so not a ton but enough to start chipping down and again we're burning out that timer we already have our switch clock back up 
Um, so we're going to go ahead and go for the superpower here, and we're going to switch now into our Dragonite. Go for the Dragon Claw. Hopefully this will take it out, but I don't believe it does because it is going to be resisted. Um, but we may be able to get her with Dragon Breath. But she does get off the Meteor Mash here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and not shield. We're going to let our Dragonite go down. It's okay. We're going to be able to bring in our Melmetal and farm some more energy. We've just cleared all our negative debuffs, which is fantastic because now we can go for superpowers if we need to, or we can go for rock slides. Now, I fully expect her Dragonite to come in right here, but we'll see. The Dragonite is going to come in. It's going to be getting off the Dragon Claw. We're not going to shield. It's going to be resisted by our Melmetal. And then we are going to go for the rock slide right here after we load up on some energy. But she swaps and Kyogre comes in. So this is going to be great for us as well because we can actually go for multiple rock slides right here. It's going to be doing some nice neutral damage here to the Kyogre. If we had Thunderbolt, it'd be great. But rock slide is fantastic as well. We already got Kyogre down, as you guys can see right there. And we're going to try to farm it down with Thundershock. But we take each other out at the same time. But this is perfectly fine because now we have Metagross in the back for this Dragonite. We're going to be resisting all the moves from the Dragonite. So the first Dragon Claw coming in, not doing a lot of damage. And all we need to get to is our Meteor Mash right here. Now, she is going to be able to get to another Dragon Claw. So we're just going to go ahead and put up the shield. And then the Meteor Mash here will be finishing off Dragonite. Um, so very good game right here. Again, Melmetal guys, really strong in the Master League meta. Moving into the next battle against Pika Magicella. Um, we're using the same team. Um, again, I don't have a lot of options, so it's better to get really good with this one team and try to get as many wins as I can and learn what this team is capable of. Um, instead of trying a bunch of things that, you know, may not work and I don't have the dust for. So we land a decent lead, Dragonite versus Machamp here. Dragon Breath's going to do a lot and she swaps into Melmetal. So we're instantly going to go into Metagross here. Metagross is going to be a pretty big threat to a Melmetal. Um, but in the two shield situation, we do need to be worrying about superpower. So I'm going to go ahead and shield that first one because the first superpower is going to be fully full damage. The next superpower is going to be reduced damage because of the debuff, which is why I shielded right there. Now, we are going to go for Meteor Mash here. It's going to be doing a decent amount of damage, especially since it's negative stats right there on the Melmetal, and we are able to get a shield. Now, this is going to be another superpower coming in, but we're not going to shield. Um, she's used so many superpowers now that it's the damage is going to get smaller and smaller. As you guys can see, their attack and defense both fell. So we're going to go ahead and go for another Meteor Mash, but not go for a fully boosted one, but she does shield that as well. So we're going to go ahead and let Metagross go down. The superpower isn't going to fully take us out, but we see her swap now into Machamp, which is fine. Um, she is now switch locked and has no shield, so we can bring in Dragonite. And what we're going to do is we're going to farm for energy right here. I'm okay with expelling a shield to stop that rock slide, but I want as much energy on Dragonite as I can get. So we're going to go ahead and go for Dragon Claw now, now that I've built up past Draco Meteor here. This Dragon Claw won't finish off, but we're going to be able to finish off with Dragon Breath. So now we have loaded energy. Energy. Dragonite with loaded energy is pretty scary. Um, so what we're going to see is I think the Melmetal does come in. So we're going to go ahead and go for Dragon Claw right here to do some chip damage versus the Melmetal. And then I think I swap into my own Melmetal on the charge move here, expecting the Rock Slide to come in so we can soak it on our own Melmetal. So we do soak the Rock Slide there and then we see a Dialga come in, which is great for us because we have Melmetal with double superpower. So what you want to do is build up to two superpowers right here because you can basically go back to back and not get hit with um, Dragon Breaths or limited amount of Dragon Breaths get hit because you lower your defense whenever you use it. So we go for back to back. We're able to take out the, the Dialga very quickly and then we can go for Rock Slide right here. Now she is going to be getting off superpower. This will take out our Melmetal because she cleared her own debuffs. But we have Dragonite to come in right here and go for a Dragon Claw. And that is going to be a great game. And we're going to go ahead and move into the next battle. Next match, we are up against Pika Magicella again. So shout out to her. Really awesome battles here that we had. And we have a Dragonite lead versus Melmetal. Um, shiny Melmetal at that. So that's an awesome flex here. 
Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to try to bail on the rock slide here, but we don't get the rock slide bait. And now we are sitting in a Melmetal versus Melmetal fight. So I'm going to go ahead and respect the superpower, put up the shield. This first superpower is the one that would do the most damage because after that, attack falls. Um, now I, I'm guessing she's going to go for another superpower and maybe try to bail. So I put up the shield. And now I have zero shield, so things are not looking too good. I'm going to go for superpower myself, and in hindsight, noticing that she's staying in here, I should have gone for the rock slide, expecting her to shield that first one. And then um, she's going to be getting off another superpower. Not going to do a lot of damage because um, we do have those debuffs. Now I'm going to go ahead and go for a rock slide, hoping to get her shield. But again, um, she's not going to shield this time, so she's doing a great job at reading um, my potential moves here. So I have to make um, a different situation or a different move. So what I'm going to do is soak that um, superpower, go for a rock slide myself. If I get this shield, then I'm going to bail into Dragonite to try to finish her off. Um, so after a little bit of lag here, we're going to be getting off the rock slide, and then we're going to bail into Dragonite here. Um, because this rock slide from her is not going to do a lot of damage, even though it is super effective. Remember, we have negative debuffs on Melmetal, so not a lot. We're going to be able to farm down for energy. So things are looking pretty good for us, um, and what we're going to do is basically Draco Meteor whatever is coming in. And what we have coming in is going to be a Dialga. So we're going to go ahead and Draco Meteor right here. Um, this is going to do quite a bit of damage to Dialga. But Dialga's Dragon Breath will absolutely shred down our own Dragonite there. Um, now, Giratina Altered is going to come in. We aren't able to get off the Dragon Claw in time. So things are actually not looking too good. Giratina is a very bulky Pokemon to deal with endgame if you don't have a lot. And especially when... We get a little bit of lag there, so you saw I brought in <laughs> Metagross, um, and she was already doing a bunch of attacks, so that's okay. I don't think it would have changed. It might have changed the battle a little bit, but we're going to go ahead and swap into Melmetal, sack our Melmetal here, absorbing the charge move to get our, give our own Metagross a fighting chance. So we're going to go ahead and go for Meteor Mash here. This is going to be doing some nice neutral damage to Giratina Altered, but not enough to take it out. Um, and so she's going to be getting off her own ancient power. I believe um, she only has one charge move on her Giratina. Not too sure, but she's basically going to be able to take us out right here with her own charge move. Um, so very, very good battle right there. And yeah, I'm testing if the internet's working or not. Going into the final battle here, we are up against Pika Magicella again. And again, same team, but different outcome when it comes to the battles here. And we have Dragonite versus Melmetal on the lead. So we're instantly going to swap into our own Melmetal. This is our third match together. So I'm going to try to read what she's doing. I'm not going to pull the trigger on Superpower. It's like whoever pulls the trigger on Superpower first is going to get that debuff if they go for it. Um, so she did the Superpower, so we're going to go for the Rock Slide this time. I'm hoping to get her shield since she's staying in because we learned from the previous battle, but she doesn't put up the shield, which is totally fine. Um, what we're going to do is not shield ourselves, hoping she's going for a bait, but she went for Superpower. And now she has negative two debuffs, so we're going to go for Rock Slide now. I'm fully expecting her to shield right here, and if she doesn't, that's really great call on her. But she does shield, she respects the superpower, and now we're going to go for our own superpower. Put her in a situation where are you going to give up both shields, or are you going to let it go down? So the Melmetal goes down, which goes to show um, letting a superpower hit that isn't negative debuff is going to be great. Now... We're going to be able to get off another superpower here on the Dialga. Um, this isn't going to do as much damage as it could, but it's going to do a decent amount, and she goes ahead and shields. Now, will we get to this next superpower? We do, which is just absolutely crazy. Melmetal is an absolute monster for Master League, guys. Really worth the investment there. We get the Dialga to about 50%. Um, and what we're going to do is bring in Metagross now. Metagross is pretty good counter against Dialga. Now we're going to respect the Thunder that I'm guessing is coming out here, which is going to do some nice neutral damage. Um, but we're going to go ahead and start farming down for energy. And then we're going to go for Meteor Mash here. Um, hoping to take it out. I'm not too sure if this does right here. I don't think it takes it out. It gets it very low. Yeah, it gets it very low. So not very effective. We could have gone for Earthquake, but we went for uh, Meteor Mash to save the energy. And now we have Giratina in the back. And we're going to be going for Dragon Claws here. Now, Ancient Power, I believe, coming in from her Giratina. 
um, which is going to do quite a bit of damage to our own Dragonite, but we're going to go ahead and go for Dragon Claw here. This is going to be doing super effective damage to Giratina Altered, but it's not going to be enough to take it out, but we're getting it low. That's the important thing. Um, from the previous game, this was a monster to try to take down, but since we have Dragonite at the end, it's going to be great for us. Ancient Power is going to take out our own Dragonite, and then we're going to be able to get to our Metagross and finish off with fast moves alone, so very good game. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope you guys found it informative. I think these were great investments and we'll have to see how Go Battle League plays out, but I think these are going to be really solid choices. I'm honestly loving Melmetal for Master League, guys. It is being fantastic. Even in bad situations, you can stall out a fight long enough because you have the ability to spam Rock Slide over and over to bail back out and get into a different matchup. Um, so I think Melmetal on this team, I think Melmetal is going to be probably the best investment that I've gone in. Um, Dragonite I've had forever and Metagross I've had forever. Um, so it wasn't too hard to unlock that second charge move, but I did have to power up Melmetal and I, I think it was worth it. So if you guys are questioning whether to bring Melmetal or not, maybe hold off if you want to to see how it performs the first couple days of Go Battle League, but right now I'm loving it and I think it's going to do really well for me. So like always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.